Hello everybody, welcome back to Being the Odds. It is Monday, June 26, 2023, and we are back with our MLB Best Bets of the Day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach, and welcome to Be the Odds. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, hit notification bell so you never miss a pick. We post these MLB videos every single day, along with the NFL and college football, that's back on. We're 73 days away. I am so excited for it to be back. Um, we're going after our first 10,000 subscribers after winning season in the NBA, college basketball, and NHL. I'm really excited to have you all here. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. So to recap yesterday's results, we made some serious money yesterday. First off, we had the Orioles money line plus 104. That was a winner. Uh, we had the Rangers money line. They blew it at the very end. Absolutely unconscionable the way they finished that. Unconscionable. Horrible bullpen play at the end. I cannot believe John Carlos Stanton, of all people, put the nail in the coffin. Uh, tough loss there overall. Uh, Brewers money line, they almost blew it too, but they got a win. That was minus 108. Uh, the over eight and a half was, I mean, God, so many opportunities for the D-backs and the Giants to be able to get over that number. Tough loss there. And with the Astros money line at plus 110, we add that on late uh, last night. And I'll tell you what, guys, if we end up losing that game off that eighth inning, I would. I don't know what I would have done. Like I'm not. I'm not joking. Like I took a phone call um, with two outs left in the eighth. Nobody on. I'm like, all right, we're good. I took a phone call, talked to my buddy for 10, 15 minutes. I come back and it's still the eighth inning and it's tied up four to four. Absolutely incredible. How bad? I mean, if they don't hit Mookie with that pitch, we win this game easy. It's a no sweat bet versus hitting him. Just a tough loss. I mean, it would have been a really tough loss had we lost it, but we got a win overall. Big, big, big clutch hitting in those uh, extra innings by the Astros. And the, that play by Dubon at the, in, in the bottom of the 11th, those guys who are watching, he, he stopped a run from being scored and gotten out. Free move from second to third, but even so, that was the, that was the biggest play of the whole game. Uh, big winner there. So three and two yesterday. We were, we were a plus nine set point nine seven units yesterday. So we're, at seven, we're up 17.23 units for the year. Um, and if we make guys money all year in the MLB, if you want to continue to make money with us college football and NFL, uh, become a member at zdmbets.com slash picks. As a member, you support me and you support the channel. We get all our picks early way before our videos come out. Uh, you also have a direct line to me. So any game you're considering betting, you can text the number that texts you. You get a guaranteed response back. Um, about any game you're considering betting that we did not cover. And also all of our add-on picks text straight to your phone. Just like we did with the Astros last night. Uh, big winner there. And again, that website is linked in the comments below. at zdmbets.com slash picks. zdmbets.com slash picks. zdmbets.com slash picks. So we have four picks today in a very limited slate in the MLB. But I really like these picks here. Um, let's get started with our best bet today. Which is going to be the Reds money line plus 116 versus the Orioles. Um, I love the Reds in this spot. I truly do. I really like them in this spot, especially off of two really close losses against the Braves. I don't know really anything about their starter, if I'm being quite honest with you with Williams. I have no clue who he is. However, he, may, he might be a bullpen guy. But he's 1-0, 5-4 ERA. The ERA is not great. Um, but I know a lot about the starter in Baltimore and Irvin. He's horrible. Like he, He's 1-3, 7-7-3 ERA. He's one, and also, his ERA does not tell the full story. He's worse than that ERA, like, like without question. So in this case, the fact I don't know much about Williamson doesn't really matter. I know a lot about Urban. I think the Cincinnati has the bull. I think they have the advantage here when it comes to starters. Uh, the bullpen have almost identical stats for both these teams, but the but the pitching staff was lit up. The Orioles pitching staff was lit up by the Mariners um, in two of these three games that they played in Baltimore. Um, and now they're going against a young Reds team who is hot with the bat. And if you include earlier this year when they were a bad offensive team, they're still a top 10 team in the league on, on, on the offensive side. They're ninth or 10th in almost everything. And if you take the last month, I would reckon to say they're probably top five in almost everything. Um, and, I, and honestly, I think for the Orioles, it would be a little bit of a culture shock here today because they played against such a subpar Mariners offense. And then you go against a young, strong, hot offense in, in the Reds. I see the Reds here getting the win here. The Reds, in my opinion, have the pitching advantage here. And I think their offense can match, to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Orioles, if not be better than them. I like the Reds here, money line plus 116 in Baltimore. Next, we have the under 8.5 in the Twins and the Braves. Um, and here's the deal. That's a minus 115. Both starters here are fantastic. Strider is great, 8-2, 3-9-3 three, ERA. Sonny Gray is a top five ERA in the league. He's 4-1 with a 2-5-6 ERA. Both of these teams have top seven bullpens as well, um, an ERA and a whip. So their pitching is elite on, on today's mound. So that's pretty obvious. However, the Minnesota is an absolute, they're a very below average offensive team, if not really, really bad. You can even say they're a very bad offensive team. 
versus elite pitching in the Braves in, in the Braves starters and their bullpen. Um, and for me, like here's the here's the only thing that, that gives me cause for pause: the fact that the Braves are top two or top three in almost every single offensive category. However, given the fact that Sonny Gray is just that good. And then Ben DeSoto bullpen has been fantastic all year for the most part. I really, I can really see this game going way under here. Um, I don't know who's going to win this game. Just because when you have a, a pitcher like Sonny Gray on the mound, anything can happen. You can see some shutouts happen. Um, however, I really see this game being like a 2-1, 3-2, one nothing type game. Um, I love the under 8.5 here in the Twins and the Braves. You have the minus 115 on FanDuel. Uh, next, we have the no runs first inning in the Nationals and the Marlins. You get some minus uh, the Marlins, Mariners minus one thirty. I don't trust my Nats at all, uh, but I can trust three quick outs. And here's the deal: the Mariners are one of the worst offensive teams in the league, and Williams hasn't been bad for the Nationals. He's been like okay. He's four and four. Uh, he's four and four. The four five ERA. Um, he's gotten better as the years gotten on. Uh, but the real story here is a decent Nationals team on offense. Like they're they're underrated offensively. And a lot of times you get off to fast start, especially in the Padres series, um, versus an absolute stud on the mound in Castillo. Um, and listen, I just think for me, Luis can get the outs here. Uh, the Nationals, again, are a solid offensive team. They hit well for contact, but they don't really hit well for power. So uh, in, my, in my estimation, in Seattle, I don't, see the, I don't see the ball flying out of the park in the first inning at the very least. The way that Luis would give up these runs is if, like, they have, you know, two on, one out, that sort of deal, and they get a hit up the middle. I think that, I think Castillo's going to keep them off the base pads. I think he can get at least three quick outs. And I, and I really think minus 130 is a really good value here, given the fact that Luis Castillo's on the mound for the Mariners and the Mariners have one of the worst offenses in the league if not the worst offense in the league um, I'm really like the no runs first inning here I'm rolling with it minus 130 and then lastly would be over eight and a half in the Brewers and the Mets um, I love this over here first off Ray for the uh, Chris Ray for the for the Brewers has been horrible on the road he's horrible in general he's got almost a five ERA um, and on the road he's even worse um, the Brewers have also have a well below average bullpen and the Mets can hit a little bit the Mets have been showing that over the last few games they can actually score some runs um, however on the New York side they have Verlander everyone sees oh they see Verlander he was a Cy Young finalist last year in the AL he was fantastic last year I'm not really sure what happened. He got his money in New York and just isn't the same dude. Like, he's just fallen off a cliff. It's pretty unbelievable how much he, like, has fallen off because he was so good last year. And he showed some flashes this year, but he's just not the same guy. I mean, he's also an older player. So the fact is, is that I would like the Mets here to be able to score some runs against the Brewers, like, below average pitching. And also the Mets, the Mets bullpen is so fucking bad. It's ridiculous. And listen, the Brewers are not the greatest offensive team in the world. You can even call them a bad offensive team. However, with subpar pitching on the mound, I know that's crazy to say with Verlander on the mound, I can see the Brewers scoring some serious runs here, doing some serious damage, and I can definitely see the Mets doing some damage here, especially at home. So I like the over eight and a half here in the Brewers and the Mets. You get some minus 110, I think. I think it's minus 110 on FanDuel right now. Now, maybe adding one pick later on today. I've got one other one that I'm circling that I might add on. Members, you'll have those texts to you way before um, Twitter. Everyone else should check my Twitter. My Twitter is in the description below. Um, so a quick recap of what we have right now. We have the Reds money line at plus 116 versus the Orioles in Baltimore. We have the under eight and a half Twins and Braves at minus 115 in Atlanta. We have the no runs first inning in the Nationals and Mariners. You get this at minus 130. That's in Seattle. We have the over eight and a half in the Brewers and the Mets. Um, and minus 110, that's in New York. Um, so guys, let's go lock in those picks. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money, and I will see you all tomorrow.